Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How many U.S. Courts of Appeals are there? To understand the number of U.S. Courts of Appeals, let's dive into the structure of the federal judiciary system. The U.S. Courts of Appeals are intermediate appellate courts that play a crucial role in the federal judicial system. These courts are organized into circuits, which are essentially regions of the United States. There are 12 regional circuits, each named by number from the First Circuit to the Eleventh Circuit, and one additional circuit specifically for the District of Columbia. In addition to these geographic circuits, there is a 13th court known as the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. This court has nationwide jurisdiction but focuses on specific types of cases, such as patent and trademark cases, as well as cases involving the U.S. government or its agencies. Each of these circuits has its own Court of Appeals that reviews cases decided in the U.S. District Courts within that circuit. For instance, the First Circuit covers Maine, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Puerto Rico, while the Ninth Circuit covers a large area, including California, Oregon, Washington, and several other states. The total number of these courts is derived from the combination of the 12 regional circuits and the single federal circuit. Therefore, when we count all these courts together, we find that there are 13 U.S. Courts of Appeals in total. Roles and Responsibilities these courts review the decisions made by the U.S. District Courts to ensure that the proceedings were fair and that the proper law was applied correctly. They do not retry cases or hear new evidence. Instead, they focus on the legal procedures and decisions made in the lower courts. Judges and Jurisdiction The number of judges on each court of appeals varies, with a total of 179 judgeships authorized by Congress. These judges are nominated by the President and confirmed by the Senate, and they have lifetime tenure. Appeals Process An appeal can be made if there are issues with the trial court proceedings, the law applied, or how the law was applied. The side seeking an appeal is called the petitioner, and the other side is known as the respondent. Before oral arguments, each side submits written arguments called briefs to the court. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.